All right, so our game is actually called Quest and Key. Um, it's short for Question and Key. Um, let's see here. I added sound effects whenever you click downs, and so let's go ahead and start by entering our username. Whenever we start, it starts the sound effects of the game itself. Um, so the, the objective of this game is to look at the question on the right side and grab the different numbers and go ahead and also put it in here. So you see on the bottom left side, you put your um, numbers are inserted there and then you go ahead and submit your answer here. If you get it right, it actually increases the bottom bar here. And if it gets to zero, then you lose the game. Um, the score is incremented based on the time and also how many scores you put in. Now, if you actually grab a wrong answer, it decrements the time and also the score. And you can go ahead and skip by also by tabbing, but also decrements the time. And you, gotta, you can also escape to reset the game. Um, what else? Joe, did I miss something? Um, tap to skip question. Oh yeah, the, yeah, tap to skip question. Um, the, red, the red block is to reset your answer. Oh right, so if you go ahead and put a an answer you don't want on accident, there's no way to take it out, so you need to go ahead and reset here. So you be more careful on grabbing the right number as well. And if you do pass your highest score, it does persist. Uh, yes, so um, each game is based on the username itself here on the right. And if your score goes above your previous high score, when you reset the game, the high score does persist. But if it doesn't, if your, if your score is lower, then it doesn't do anything there. And also, if you go ahead and lose the game, just let's keep skipping. Recommends our score. Joe put it in the alert here. Once you lose, it says you ran out of money in your quest and you died of dysentery. And then when you click OK, it resets the game. The questions is um, got by a math generator in the back end that. Um, generates different questions here. So every time um, it goes to a question generator and then the different cases is populated by a, a random number generator here as well. And I think that's pretty much our project, Joe.